he'll be like, yeah, he'll be the number one for a while, I think. Welcome back to Control Towns Podcast, where we talk about music, money, and more. This is episode 46. I am Steven. I'm Chris. Let's just jump into some of the new music that was released last week. Here are the singles. Rod Wave, Come See Me. Uh, Doge Cat released Demons. Nicki Minaj le- released Last Time I Saw You. Georgia Smith released Falling or Flying. Here are the projects that were released. Coily Ray released Blue Moon, the EP. Icona Pop released Club Roman Tech. Ama Lou released I Came Home Late. And Larry Fleet released Earned It. Any of your favorite songs were released last week, or are you just listening to I, I liked the uh, Rod Wave song, uh, Come See Me. It was pretty good. I, I liked that. I kind of like My Eyes on Utopia. Yeah, I've yeah, been yeah. listening to that. Even Thank God. Thank God, such a sick track. Yeah. Here are the top five songs that made the most revenue last week. Coming in at number five, Taylor Swift's Cruel Summer made $86,361. Number four is Gunna's Fuck You Mean made $94,660. Number three is Doja Cat's Paint the Town Red, which made $95,162. Number two is Morgan Wallen's Last Night, which made $101,500. And then number one is Oliver Anthony's Rich Men North of Richmond which made $215,900, which is two weeks in a row he's the number one. Yeah, he's the he, number one. He he'll, be, like, yeah, he'll be the number one for a while, I think. Yeah, those, are strong, those are strong stream, yeah, streaming yeah. numbers. He's almost $115,000 more than the second yeah, place. Guy. I'm surprised Painted Town Red wasn't a little bit more, though. Yeah, that, that song's, song's been all over the fucking place. Yeah, that's very surprising. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll see. Maybe yeah. next week will change a little bit more. Yeah. Very well. All right, let's talk about the first week sales from last week. Coming in at number one, Zach Bryan's Zach Bryan sold 198,740 copies. And then number 33 is Burner Boys, I Told Them, which sold 20,481 copies. Yeah, 20,000 for Burner Boys, not bad. Yeah. Honestly. It's, it's uh, fucking just as much as fucking Ray Schwimmer, bro. Ray Schwimmer. Uh, who else? Rich the Kid. Yeah, yeah, Rich the Kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's pretty crazy. And he's not like... Young it's boy, not like a young boy and rich the kids sold about that much. Yeah, and it's not like a like it's a different cultural thing too. It's not like a uh But he does have some big features. Yeah, no, he does. He does. I'm so. just saying it's not like something accustomed to like yeah. the United States that people will listen to. Zach Bryan almost sold two hundred thousand yeah, copies, that's crazy. which is very impressive. Yeah. But yeah. that's let's, wild. Let's talk I, about some of the new R I A A certifications this week. Here are the gold records. Uh Rod Wave had three tracks go gold. gold. Uh, Joe Budden's Pump It Up When Cold. That's a good that's an old song, man. It's it's S V D and Shiloh Dynasty's Losing Interest when Gold. Hosier had five tracks go gold. MGK had five tracks go gold. Mariah Carey's Anything You Need a Friend went gold. Uh Foster the People had four tracks go gold. Dusty Lokeen's Rolando went gold. Meg the Stallion's uh two of her albums went gold. And here are the platinum tracks. Megan Thee Stallion had three tracks go platinum or above. Chris Talman had two tracks go platinum. Foster People had six tracks go platinum, including Pumped Up Kicks going 14 times platinum. MGK had five tracks go platinum or above, including Rap Devil and Candy. Mariah Carey had five tracks go platinum and above, including Fantasy, which went six times platinum, and Hero, which went three times platinum. NF's Let You Down is six times platinum. Hosier had eight songs go platinum or above, including Take Me to Church, which is now 13 times platinum. Jeremiah had five tracks go platinum and above. Third Eye Blind had four tracks go platinum and above. French Montana's No Stylist featuring Drake is two times platinum. And Rod Wave had Alone and Cold December, which both went platinum. Uh, Any of these tracks that were recently certified surprise you? Honestly, I'm surprised Take Me to Church is only 13. I thought it would have been more. I thought it would have been That's crazy. above Pumped Up Kicks. Honestly. No, come on. No, Both Take Me those. to Church is like a is like a big like spiritual gospel song, so yeah, I'm surprised know, it's like a not a... Not more than that, but yeah. I mean, both of those are insanely huge records. Yeah. And obviously, the certifications mimic that yeah. and they show how big they are I mean 14 times platinum's huge and 13 times platinum and I'm surprised Mariah Carey's fantasy is only 6 times platinum I mean as well that, that was another one that surprised me a little bit I thought it would have been a little bit closer to uh, Diamond, Diamond than 
I mean, it, it, depending on how fast it's it's accumulating streams and yeah. sales, it's obviously heading towards the diamond. Yeah, no, it's heading towards the diamond, but I thought it would have been like maybe like eight or nine instead of the six. And NF, bro, NF, bro, he fucking makes... That guy makes money, bro. Yeah. Six times platinum? Six times platinum is a lot for him, too. And he's a... He's and a, he's not really, like, a, like a huge artist, but he's I mean, big. He's huge in the sense... He's not mainstream. In nah. The, he's, he's a huge artist. He has a huge following, but he is not a mainstream, like, Drake. He's not a mainstream J. Cole. He's not a mainstream... No, like like a Kendrick, like something like that. No. He's like, he's on the level of like kind of, I, I can't think of like I mean, maybe like Logic. Or no, he's bigger than Logic. He's bigger than like and, like kind of like a, a maybe like a little bit above, like you said, like Logic or something like that. Yeah, he he has a lot of fans. He's he's probably above Logic but below Russ. Yeah. So like somewhere in between that, yeah, somewhere. But in he between. still sells more than fucking like raw. Like if he oh, sold, yeah, he his. his but he's not sales. like he's like not like a household name. But everyone does know his song. Like he just went on tour. Didn't he just go on tour? Or he he just went like he yeah. just went somewhere. I thought it was it wasn't Madison Square Garden. He went to he went to the um that arena underneath Madison Square Garden. I believe uh, the a Hulu, Hulu the Hulu theater. Yeah, and he sold that out. I don't know. I mean, it was. It wasn't. It. It maybe it was. Re, it wasn't recent. Recent. Maybe it was like maybe like six a, months ago. What is he on a? Uh, he's on a world tour. Oh, he's on a world tour. Oh wow. Yeah, because he's in Germany, Milan, Italy, Austria, Germany, France, Germany, Belgium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They love him, and he don't get like big features on his like albums and stuff like that. But he, they, they love him, bro. And he doesn't really put too much promo into it the same nah. way as other rappers do. And he doesn't take shots. You never nah. see anything like that. He don't cur- he, he, he really don't curse in any of his stuff. No, nah, it's it's pretty impressive. Yeah. His, his career, what he's built. But let's talk about some of the new trending things in music this week. Jay-Z and Lil Durk linked up. This is a pretty cool photo. I, I believe this is at the Beyonce concert. Yeah, it's at the uh, Beyonce tour, yep. Yeah, Shirt's just, pretty cool he's got on. Well, of his wife. That's a Beyonce, right? Yeah, it's a Beyonce. That's cool. Jay Z's. Yeah. It's always cool seeing him out and about. I mean, you you only really see like videos and pictures of him. Yeah, at, like, but he actually thing. just reactivated his uh, Instagram. Oh, did he? Yeah, oh, like maybe he's, recently. Maybe he'll release a project. Or yeah, something yeah, like yeah. That. maybe he is. I don't know. Young Blue airs out Snake Boozy Badass as financial dispute heats up. So, according to this article by Hip Hop DX. Boozy Badass and Young Blue's brewing feud has boiled over, and the former collaborations trading vicious words on social media. Yeah, because is he? He's like technically is he signed to his label or something? Yeah, yeah, he is. Either that or he he presented him to a bigger label. To a bigger label, label and yeah. Usually yeah. get like a finder's fee or something like that, like something like along the lines of like yeah, 10% or something yeah, like that. or five percent. So. The Moonboy singer issued lengthy response on X, claiming Boozy didn't honor the terms of their contract and invested barely anything into his career, yet is demanding $10 million. That's crazy. He also said that Boozy offered he offered Boozy $2 million in the publishing rights to his mixtape catalog, along with 50% of the new material, but Boozy turned it down and bashed him publicly. Wow. That's crazy. Is this thing really even worth ten million dollars? So? That one song with Drake. Yeah, he's huge. big. Yeah, he does have two projects. Your mind still is a song that that'll forever yeah, yeah, yeah. continue to make streams and uh, continue to accumulate streams. But I don't know if his whole catalog is worth ten million. Yeah, I mean, eventually it could be, uh, it could be eventually ten million dollars, but it could have a net worth. But I don't, I don't know. I don't, I can't see it right now having yeah. that net worth. According to Hip Hop DX, YNW Melly double murder trial juror insists rapper was framed. A YNW Melly juror from the rap Florida rapper's first double murder trial has come forward with the claims that the murder on my mind rapper was framed. The South South Florida Sun Sentinel revealed that they spoke out to juror number seven, whose real name has not been released, out of concerns for her safety and privacy. According to her, the lack of consistent evidence against YNW Melly, whose real name is Jamel Demons, led to her name led to her voting not guilty. I believe that he didn't do it and it wasn't proved in court, said the Fort Lauderdale resident. 
this was a really bad situation out of being this was a really bad situation of being framed. Melly was a very good person. He always tried to help people around him. What's okay. more, juror number seven claimed that most of the jury wanted to convict YNW Melly of the der- double murders, but were turned off by the prosecution's insistence of trying to tie actions against gang activity, claiming he was claiming that doing so was racial p- profiling. This is such a messy case. Yeah, it, it's it definitely is. But it's it's yeah, it, I it, that's interesting to me that a, a juror came out and said that that it could have been uh could have been he, framed. Yeah, it could have been framed. That that it came out publicly and said that. They didn't show the 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 person's like name or not like that, but that's still but pretty I mean, cool. It's a little different. Everybody's leaving Scooter Braun's company, yeah. but Ariana Grande is leaving Scooter Braun and management company Hype. But he got people are saying he got to have some allegations coming. Nah, I, they said he took on a bigger role or yeah, something like that. Yeah, he's probably not going to be not part of their career. Day to day, he probably is. He was probably going to assign other people to yeah, deal with them. And that's they what he said. They said he wasn't doing the day to day managing for people anymore. So that's why everybody's leaving. All right, moving on to the debates. I personally think so. I think I think he will. I think he'll get close to four hundred k. I don't know if a I, I think he'll break 400k. I think it'll be like 450 for the first week. 400 will be tough to beat, but... Well, look at what uh, Travis Scott. What did Travis Scott hit? 450? What did Travis Scott sell? Let's first see. week. I think it was... Was it 450? 485. 45. Yeah, so, so I think he'll get close to it. Maybe maybe not Maybe not 400 exactly. Maybe he'll hit like 350, 400, something like that. I yeah, think. I think uh, her law sold 205. But I thought it was more than that. I thought it was like three eighty. It might have been. Might have been. Uh, you know what? I'm. I'm. I could you be might thinking be thinking of, of honestly, honestly. Never. Never, never mind. mind. Might have hit yeah. two hundred five. But I think uh, honestly, I, it should be something where it, it hits close to what uh for uh, close to about four hundred to to three like three fifty to four hundred. I think. Yeah, I mean, it it really depends on what. What week gets released and who's releasing that week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I think if he Trump, does it this week, like say if he does it this week and nobody's coming out with nothing, I think he'll hit the four hundred. Yeah, I mean it doesn't really four. matter who really comes out with it because Drake's gonna overcome anybody. Yeah. Even Zach Bryan wouldn't have came became number one. Yeah, he wouldn't. Need, he would have pulled yeah. the sales from him. Yeah, it, Drake's so universal. Yeah. basically, like any anybody can really listen to Drake. Yeah, exactly. Nah, not necessarily. I don't think so because I think an artist could could have twenty thousand the first week, but then every week after that he could sell fifteen to twenty thousand for yeah, like right. ten, twenty weeks in a row. I it, on, in in my big, personal opinion, I don't think first week sales really matter in the whole in like you're saying like the whole grand scheme of things because yeah. a guy can sell twenty thousand, fifteen thousand every week for. 20 yeah. weeks straight. I mean, it is straight. a little different now because you could accumulate streams yeah. day, daily on all streaming platforms. Mm-hmm. Like back in the day, I feel like it was more so like the first week you you got majority of the chunk of sales. Like get rich or die trying. Yeah, because you were buying the actual that you were buying that actual CD. Like and you it asked. was it was it was really hyped up. It's like, yeah, it's like the first the first weekend of a movie. Yeah, like the 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 first weekend a movie. The bo- like yeah, the, the box, box office. office. Yep. Like everybody, it's more hyped up. Yeah. Like everybody wants to be the first to see it, first to listen to it, vice versa. So yeah. it's like, I think in the, the recent times for m- music and artists, I don't think. It really matters in the grand scheme of things, yeah. especially as up and coming artists. You're not really going to sell anything as an up and coming artist. Now you know you got to expect to sell ten thousand or less. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So a guy could sell ten thousand or less, and then every week after that, he could be selling ten, 10, 10 to fifteen thousand. Even if it's three, four thousand, yeah, you're selling thirty percent of your first week sales every week. Yeah, and, it's great. And you'll you won't show up on any charts or anything, but, but you'll listen. You'll, you'll, you'll gain those fans. Yes, you and will. You'll get some true. True fans that'll stay with you throughout the entirety of your career. Yes. Depends what kind of artist you are. If you're an up and coming artist with not a big fan base, you should be releasing something every week. 
every single week. You not should, a project. Not a project. A song. A song, a single, song, something. Music video. Something. something. You if you're an up and coming artist with not a huge following, yeah, you should be every week. You should have something for people to be listening to. Yeah, I mean, think about it. If you have two thousand, let's say, let's say you have a thousand people that interact with you, yes, a thousand fans, thousand, thousand fans. followers on Instagram, whatever it is. Yes, if you're trying to gain one percent every week, you 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 can gain ten followers every week. Exactly, and you that compounded over time you know what i mean like it you're gonna gain a substantial amount of followers mm-hmm. and it's so important those 10 followers that you're gaining new every week is so important at that stage of your career yeah. like it really doesn't matter if Travis yeah. scott loses 10 followers. no that's what i'm saying it doesn't followers. matter for how big of a follow like if you're like travis scott's level once once it, it, once every so couple years you release something, it's yeah. that's different. It's, it's, but if you're an up and coming person, you got it. It's every week. Pressure. I think every week you got to yeah, do you, something if I you want to stay relevant. A project should not be. a project. I'm saying like a, even if it's like a freestyle or something, or like a like a lyric video, you just got to give a piece of content every week to your fans. A project should be released at least an EP or a mixtape or an album should be released once every eight. To ten months. Yeah, if you're an up up and coming artist, up and saying? coming artist. Yeah, I would say and probably a, six, maybe like six to ten months, something like that. But I also think, as an established artist, I think once a year is a fair. Yeah, even if it's once every like two three years, even if you're know. that big. I think I think you're you're enticing the fall off more. Yeah, you're fair. That's like, fair. People, m- music is so on to like, the next one. Like you listen to a song ten times, you're ready to listen to the next hit. Yeah. Or. People like, are, I think, like, a guy, like you're saying, a guy like Travis Scott might have waited too long. A guy like Little Uzi might have waited too long. I don't know, because they, they... Listen, they sold, but I think it was, like, the quality of the work didn't, like, match, like, the hype, like, them whole, like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, the them waiting that long, the quality of the work, I don't think, warranted, like, how long the, the, the layoff was. All right, so moving on to this or that, I'm going to name two tracks. You just let me know which song you would prefer better. Yeah. All right, so starting off with Travis Scott and Drake, Meltdown or Sicko Mode? Sicko Mode. All My Life by Lil Derek and J. Cole or Laugh Now or Cry Later, Lil Derek and Drake? Uh, Laugh Now or Cry Later, Lil Derek and Drake. Red Bone or 3005 by Three. Childish Campino? 3005. Chance the Rapper's Juice or No Problem? Ooh, that's a tough one. I like both songs. I'd probably have to go with Juice because the nostalgia of Chance the Rapper's old stuff. Post Malone Circles or Post Malone and Sway Lee's Sunflower? Post Malone and Sway Lee's Sunflower. Wait for You by Future or Mask Off? Wait for You. Exo Tour Life or Just Wanna Rock by Lil Uzi Vert? I'm not really big on Just Wanna Rock, so I'll go with Exo Tour Life. Fuck You Mean or Drip Too Hard featuring Gunna and Lil Baby? Uh, Drip Too Hard featuring Gunna and Lil Baby. Peaches and Eggplant or EA by 21 Savage and Young Nudie? Oh, uh, Peaches and Eggplant. That's a good track. Yeah, it's a, re- a really good track. I like that one. All right, we're going to move over to Dollars of Followers. I'm going to give you an artist and their IG following, and you let me know if you think their net worth is higher or lower than that number. Sounds good. All right, Ice Spice. She has an Instagram following of 9.4 million. Do you think her net worth is higher or lower? I'd probably say lower, a little bit lower. As of right now, it's it states two million dollars and rising. So oh wow! I thought it would be a little bit. Lo- yeah, 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 I thought so it would be a little more than that. But all right. Nicki Minaj IG following is two hundred twenty-six million. Do you think her net worth is higher or lower? I'm gonna say higher. She has a net worth of one hundred fifty million dollars. Oh really? That's it? Oh, I thought it was Travis, higher. Travis Scott has an IG following of fifty-one point seven million. Do you think his net worth is higher or lower? I'm gonna say lower for him. He act. You are incorrect. He actually has a net worth of eighty million dollars. Oh wow! Yeah. I'm surprised he's, it's closer to Nicki Minaj. Honestly, yeah, he's worth a lot of money. Yeah. Zach Bryan has an Instagram following of two point seven million. Do you think his net worth is higher or lower? He just sold a lot, so I'm gonna say higher. You are incorrect. He oh has wow! An estimated net worth of one million dollars. Oh wow, that's crazy. That is surprising. So yeah, that I, is I'm surprising because he just sold. Change. He just sold a lot, but all right. 
Rihanna has an IG following of 152 million followers. I'll say I'll say over on that one. Yeah, she's correct. She has a 1.4 billion dollar network. Yeah, because of the, the, the makeup and the yeah. yeah. ASAP Rocky's IG has 17.6 million followers. I'll say I'll say lower. Incorrect. He has oh, wow. an estimated net worth of 20 million dollars. Oh wow. He's big in fashion. And yeah, that's, that's so, true. That's so, true. I didn't really think about that. Yeah. A lot of these deals are, are undisclosed. Yeah. I think he was part of Calvin uh, Calvin Klein. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Tyler, the creator, has an Instagram following of 14.3 million. I'm going to say lower. Incorrect. He has a net worth of $30 million. Oh, wow. Uh, Luke Combs' Instagram following is 5.7 million. I'll say over on that one. You are correct. He has a net worth of $20 million. All right. Wow, $20 million. That's yeah, crazy. Really That's is, a lot. Really oh, wow. Awesome. Thank you all for tuning in to episode 46. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you think about the more dollars of followers. And if you were to guess those net worths correctly or incorrectly, check in next week. We will have a guest, surprise guest, on this podcast. And then we are starting another podcast called Entrepreneurship, where I'll be interviewing a gym owner. And it'll be exclusively for entrepreneurs and fans of small businesses and entrepreneurship. So thank you all for tuning in. Make sure you tune in next week.